So let's start with a specific arm exercise which are designed to increase power. So the first one is the mini dumbbell swing, which is an excellent exercise for developing power in two ankles, backhand and forehand strokes. To perform this exercise, as you can see, she is holding this mini dumbbell in one hand and stand with her feet shoulder width apart, keeping her core engaged. She swings the dumbbell between her legs and uh, explosively uh, swings into the shoulder height using her arm and hips muscles. This exercise mimics the rotational movement and power generation required for effective ground stocks. And another workout she does is the medicine ball throw exercise, which is highly effective in building explosive power and core strength, which is are essential for her strokes standing with, with her feet hip width apart. Surenko holds a medicine ball at chest level. She then forcefully throws the ball forward using her arms, shoulders, and core muscles. This exercise enhances her ability to generate power from her core and transfer it into her strokes. And that is the beauty of it. So, she also performs the dumbbell fly which uh, for which they target to 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 renko sorry uh, pectoral muscles which are essential for stability and control during constructs lying on a bench um to renko holds a dumbbell in each hand with her arm extended outward she then uh, slowly lower the dumbbell to the sides feeling the stretch of the chest muscles before bring them back to the starting position. This exercise uh, will strengthen her chest muscles, aiding in strokes, stability, and control. Then, the dumbbells of her press, which focus on developing the strength and stability of the two wrinkles, shoulders, muscles. Standing with her feet, uh, hip width apart again, she holds a dumbbell in each hand at her at a shoulder height, Turenko then presses the dumbbells overhead, fully extending her arms, returning to the starting position. This exercise targets the deltoids, triceps, and improving her ability to generate power during her strokes. To strengthen her lower elbow, her, sorry, her elbow muscles and prevent injuries like tennis elbow, Turenko incorporates exercises such as bicep curls and triceps extension using the dumbbells. The, the bicep curls involve holding the dumbbell in each hand and slowly curling them up toward her shoulders. The types of extension require Torenko to extend her arm fully behind her head, holding the dumbbell and then slowly bending and extending her elbow. The exercise help build strength and stability in her elbow joint. Torenko also uh, include the wrist calls access to enhance the strength and flexibility of the her, of her wrist. Using a dumbbell and a barbell, she rests her forearm on a bench or a pies with her wrist hanging off the edge, holding the weight. Surenko calls her wrist upwards, flexing and extending them through a full rotational motion. The wrist calls help improve her wrist stability enabling her to control the racket and execute precise strokes. So why her arm strength is so important to her? First, strong arms allows to send concentrate to more power in her strokes, resulting in her harder. Uh, also, another thing is arm work can improve her control of the racket, enable her to execute accurate shots with precision. Now, let's jump to the core practices. So, let's talk about her sound. You know, there have been periods when her self acted as a significant liability in her game. However, if we delve into the analysis of her self, we can observe some notable trends. When you look at the older highlights of, uh, let me take you back to 2019, it appears that she had an acceptable self with a fluid motion and a good toss just above her head. And into the court, her self seemed to be relatively consistent during the time. 
that time, allowing her to execute her shots effectively. So, in recent years, however, Sorenko has encountered significant, significant issues with herself. The most prominent problem has been the uh, inconsistency uh, with herself. The toss is a crucial element of a successful self, as it sets the foundation of the entire shot. A poorly executed toss can lead to a multitude of problems, including the lack of power, accuracy, and timing. So if you examine recent videos of Surenko's matches, like uh, these ones, uh, we can observe that her toss has improved to some extent. It seems like the toss is now placed a little more over her head, which, pro uh, which provides a better control and allows her to make necessary adjustment during the serve. This improvement in the toss consistency is a positive sign of her overall service uh, performance. Despite the progress in her toss, there are still areas where Surenko's serve can, be benef can benefit from further ref refinement. So one notable issue in her is her ten tendency to open up too early during the south. This premature rotation of the body can dim diminish the power gener generated from the, the legs and the core, resulting in a weaker and less effective shot. When we talk about footwork drills, we need to look how they will help you to reach the ball in time and also maintain a balanced stance for powerful for, for powerful and accurate shots. And, and in this case, we are breaking down Lysia Tsurenko full talk draws. And at this at this session, she includes some condrills, condrills which are arranged in a predetermined, predetermined arrangement on the tennis court. And players are required to move swiftly and precisely through them. So uh Sorenko's ability to quickly shift direction as well as her partial awareness and adjust and movement control are all advanced enhanced by this exercise. Her focus and concentration are also improved by these cons drills since she has uh, to respond she has to respond rapidly to the cons shifting position. Then just to make things a little harder. She mixes cones workout with fast feet at least to further test her foot talk. Um, some rapid control foot motions in a variety of directions are, are a part of fast feet drills. So this case, her ability to keep her balance while running at rapid speed is, a, is improved by these activities, which are uh, which also increase his foot speed. Trisenko simulates the quick movement and direction shifts that take place during a tennis match by incorporating these drills with calm workers. So, uh, so another essential component of Tsurenko's foot of training is the lateral movement drills. Tennis requires players to move lateral on the tennis court to reach shots hit to their backhand or forehand sides. Uh, okay, so this drills focus on improving Tsurenko's side-to-side -side movement, enabling her to cover the court efficiently and quickly. When practicing lateral movement, she can maintain a strong defensive position and quickly transition to an offensive stance uh, when needed. Uh, then, to Sorenko employs shadow tennis, uh, which involves simulating a game situation with, without a ball. Sorenko practices her foot talk, shuffles, and movement patterns while managing hitting her shots and reacting to imaginary opponents. This drills allows her to focus slowly, solely on her foot talk and movement, honing her muscles memory and ingraining efficient movement patterns into our game. Shadow tennis is an excellent way for, for Turenko to reinforce 
proper footwork technique and maintain a high level of movement precision during matches so and lastly uh, he does some uh, reaction and speed drills uh, they play a crucial role in a training um, at a training routine sorry tennis matches often require quick reactions to open shots uh, and these drills help how to develop the required or the necessary reflexes so reaction drills involve a coach or a training partner feeding uh, balls or Shosenko so who uh, must react quickly and accurately to hit the ball or another deal can be rich to a colored cause which is told by her coach uh, these drills improve her anticipation and eye coordination and reaction time uh, by combining reaction drills and speed exercise Surenko trains her body to respond swiftly and efficiently to varying stimuli allowing her to reach shots with greater ease and precision and just to add because this video was meant specifically for just someone like you so i'm just saying the ability to move swiftly and efficiently allows her to implement a more aggressive style of play uh, she can take control of points by quickly transitioning from defense to offense uh, putting on her opponents and indicating uh, the pace of a match of the match the foot of drills provide uh, the let me say the necessary tools to execute uh, the strategies with precision this will allow her to exploit the weakness of her opponent scale and capitalize on her opportunities now forehand analysis so uh, she has a forehand shot that showcases a rather conservative grip it is evident that she utilizes a grip with the right hand index knuckle on the bevel p25 this grip is considered to be excellent for players at all levels and enables her to execute flat winners effectively which is a crucial aspect in women tennis in today's game. Surenko's forehand technique encompasses a series of coordinated movements, starting with a beautiful unit turn that involves whaling her upper body. The initiation of Tunsenko's forehand stop begins with this unit turn, where she rotates her upper body, allowing her to generate power and tuck. This motion provides her with the foundation to execute a strong and well balanced shot. As she uh, transitions into the forward swing, her racket follows a high to low to high swing path, enabling her to generate top spin and control over the ball. The high to low face helps her to create the necessary racket head speed to generate power and spin while the subsequent low to high face imparts top spin on the ball facilitating control and accuracy now the one thing you can only notice about her forehand technique is ability to maintain a steady head position at the moment of contact by keeping her head still she ensures optimal focus and stability enhancing her short consistency this steadiness allows her to make precise contact with the ball increasing her chances of hitting clean winners and minimizing unforced errors moreover her solid head position contributes to improve timing and balance throughout the stroke enhancing the overall effectiveness uh, over forehand. Also, uh, Tresenko's follow through is another distinctive feature of her forehand. After striking the ball, 
she finishes her swing of the racket head held high, often catching it with her left hand. This follow through aims in achieving a good depth of her shots, as it allows her to generate uh, more leverage and control over the racket. The high finish enables enables to to uh, to Sorenko to impart additional top spin and, and control, giving shots more margin over the net and ensuring they land deep in the court. This step puts pressure on our opponents and make it challenging for them to execute offensive shots in a response. In his response. Just to sum up the analysis uh, so you can get things right. Uh, uh, high finish and the use of the left hand cutting the racket contribute to an excellent depth of our shots. Uh, to Senko's forehand is there is a well-rounded weapon that combines power, control, and consistency, making her a formidable weapon, uh, opponent, sorry, in the women tennis circuits. Now, uh, let's focus on her gym training. So Renko focuses on the leg training, strength training. As you know, tennis requires explosive movement, quick changes in direction, and powerful shots. Strong legs are essential for generating power and speed on the telescope. Exercises like hex bar lifting is doing now it will uh, help develop the next muscles in our lower body, including the core ribs, hamstrings, and glutes, and calves, providing her with the strength and stability necessary for explosive movement. So, since it's a leg day, he adds the leg single uh, leg single leg. Her squats. So by performing single leg squat, she targets uh, each leg individually, improving balance, stability, and coordination. This exercise helps correct muscles imbalances, strengthening the supporting muscles around the knee, and enhancing her ability to transfer power from the lower body to the upper body during shots and movement on the task. It's good for stabilizing the knee. The other thing is she is uh, training squats with a cable machine. This allows Tosenko to work on a squat technique while also engaging her leg muscles. The cable machine provides the resistance throughout the entire range of motion, challenging, challenging her muscles to work harder. This exercise not only strengthens her leg but also helps to improve her core stability and control which is a virtual for maintaining proper posture and preventing injuries while playing tennis. Uh -huh. Then she uh, leans, then, then she uh, works on the lean squats. She wants to do the lean squat. Yeah. Enough of that she does. Um, lunges, which she target her multiple muscles group simultaneously, so including the core ribs, hamstrings and glutes and hip flexes, roping weighted into a lunges, she, can, she increases the density of the exercise. Further challenging her legs muscles, her weighted lunges improve her leg strength, stability and balances, which are necessary in session for dynamic movement on the tennis court, uh, such as lunging for wide shots or recovering quick after hitting the ball. One thing you can notice about this here, Tepsenko's backhand, is the positioning of her hand and wrist. As she prepares to hit the shot, the knuckle of her right index finger points downward. Her wrist is bent. This grip allows her to create for a greater control and generate top spin, enables her to shots to protect the court and keep her opponent off the defensive. Another intriguing aspect of Tepsenko's backhand is her footwork. Like many other players, who step into the ball with the right foot. She actually, oh sorry, she usually takes an open stance with her feet parallel to the baseline. The stance, this stance provides her with a solid base and allows her to generate power and stability while maintaining balance throughout the stroke. So uh, in terms of a backswing, uh, Tresenko deviates 
from the conventional roping motion, commonly seen in the most players. Instead of, of instead, she pulls her racket straight back, and her racket's tip remains lower than the most of other women. This unique boxing enables her to control the height and depth of her shots effectively, adding an element of unpredictability to her game. And what truly distinguishes Teresenko's backhand is the execution reminiscent of a left-handed forehand rather than traditional backhand stroke. Her right hand guides the emotion, providing stability and control. Uh, rather than driving the shot solely with the built force, this technique allows her to generate exceptional racket extension, resulting in a powerful and accurate shot. Also, to Senko's follow through is also a weapon noting. Even after striking the ball, she maintains excellent racket extension as she continues the swing, the maximizing the momentum and generating additional topspin. This follow through contributes to the depth and control she achieves with her backhand, making it a formidable weapon in her arsenal. Let's look into her warm up exercise and playing footballs serve as an excellent warm-up exercise to her. A seat, al- seat involves running, jumping, kicking, and changing direction rapidly, which helps to increase the heart rate, improve her cardiovascular fitness, and enhances her agility. The fast-paced nature of the game also simulates her reaction speed, reflexes, which are crucial skills on tennis court. Anyway, just to say the least, Playing football is a fun and enjoyable activity for Tsurenko, adding an element of excitement to her home routine and setting a positive tone for her training or match. Another thing she does is her warm up routine. In a warm up routine, is a mobility exercise which are designed to improve her joint range of motion and increase muscle flexibility. This exercise aims to enhance her body stability and move efficiently and reduce the risk of injury during intense tennis matches. This exercise specifically targets areas like hips, shoulder, and spine, which are heavily involved in tennis movement, such as serving forehand backhand swings, the lateral movement, even uh, with other strength training. So improved mobility allows her to derive most power, maintain balance, and execute precise shots on the court. Lastly, she also does stretching exercise. This will help her to elongate and, uh, and relax muscles, increasing her flexibility and reducing muscle tensions. Uh, uh, it also improves uh, overall joint mobility, prevent uh, muscles imbalances, and reduce the risk of strains or pulls. Still on benefits, stretching promotes her better circulation which enhance nutrients delivery to the muscles and improve overall performance.